Okay folks, today is the day. The bike is getting tuned. It's on the dyno now, ready for its before runs. Uh, I'm at Powertech in Poulton Le Fylde, or however you say it. So, just need to warm it up and then get the befores done. We'll be ready to roll. Okay, so that's the new filter in, and there's the old pipe. It's a bit of a twat to get the bolts out, the studs and the head came out with the bolts, so. but new pipe. It's in here. A few moments later. Shiny, right, fitting. Okay, so that is the new header pipe fitted. It was an absolute pain in the ass. Really fiddly job, um, especially to get uh, the bit that mounts to the frame, uh, that part. Getting that to line up was a pain in the ass. Uh, I, have to, I had to loosen the tank bolt. Uh, to get that to line up properly but now I've kind of got a gap so I'll have to get onto the Tecmo guy see if he can give me any pointers or check the Facebook pages so yep header and the DNA filter so yeah just wait for the guy to come back and then get it tuned up Standing out here, that is loud as fuck. There we go, all tuned up. 72 horsepower and 54 torques. So, next thing to do now is take it for a ride. Okay, so tuning complete. To start off with, um, the, the map that I had on the Power Commander was, uh, I'm sure it was the Rottweiler map, uh, on the American Dino Jet website. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it was uh, the Rottweiler map that was on there, or, or it says uh, in the notes that for the Rottweiler map. I really should have checked before. Um, or it was the the most up-to-date uh, one on the UK website uh, actually it might have been that one because I, I don't think it liked the or I don't think I liked the, the Rottweiler map um, but 
the guy at Powertech said um, there was a good uh, it was a good map uh, to go off. Uh, it, was, it was nice and clean. Uh, this is the the air fuel was quite good. Um, so it, it was kind of a, a good base to start on. So he has just modified that. Um, so I'll I'll check what he's done on the tables. Uh, so he's done the fueling and the. Uh, da, 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 the ignition as well. Uh, the, that map had lots of twos in it and the odd few fours uh, towards the top end uh, at 100% throttle. Um, he, say, he said if you take the take the ignition time away completely uh, up to zeros, you lose about five horsepower um, when you're when you're giving it death. Um, so yeah, he, he tried um, going uh, an extra two points higher, tried putting six, uh, and it, it made no difference, so he's just left the ignition timing at uh, four. Uh, I don't know if that's four degrees or, or what. Uh, it probably is. Um, yeah, and just uh, just cleaned the uh, air fuel up. Um, so it's running pretty much 13, uh, all the way through the rev range, uh, whatever uh, throttle percent as well uh, so that's really good uh, it doesn't pop and bang as much although it just did there um, it, it does pop and pop, pop but there's no properly loud bangs now uh, I just took it on a ride along this road so I'm just taking it for another ride while my audio works um, yeah uh, when I took it uh, along here before uh, it, it was night and day. You could tell there was a, some extra power straight away. Um, I went to uh, set off in second gear and it actually lifted um, when I was leaning over the front, which has never done that before. Uh, so yeah, this is, you know, big, big boost. But after fitting the DNA intake and the the Tecmo header. Uh, there was an extra three horsepower gained straight away with no tuning. Uh, it just done a, a straight full power run after letting it warm up and it got 70, 70 horsepower. Um, I'm not sure on the on the torque. Uh, so I had tuned it all up uh, for all uh, throttle percentage ranges. I uh, got the fueling spot on. It's pretty much 13 throughout the whole map. Uh, any throttle, uh, any throttle position, and the end result was 72 horsepower. So that's an extra five horsepower from what I had originally. And I'm sure the peak torque was uh, 55. Um, I'm not sure if that's it's, it's probably newton meters. Um, but yeah, it was, it was unfortunate that we couldn't get the, the base uh, torque reading. Uh, but yeah, it, it, you know, it's night and day. I, I can feel by my butt dyno that you know it, it has got some extra grunt. Fuck me. I know this is still the north of the UK. Like the north is pretty much Birmingham and up. Which is stupid. Uh, but yeah, the traffic here sucks. Are we gonna get to go now? There we go. Woo! So yeah, it just pulls and pulls and pulls. Um, it makes a lot more noise now because of the the DNA filter is just a big open hole. There's nothing to stop the the death coming out from under the under the seat. So rest in peace, ears. So yeah, the, uh, it, you can just feel there's extra power everywhere. Uh, and as you get up to uh, the top end, uh, you can really feel it. Then just going to do a quick ride along here. Fuck it, I'll go along here. Oh, dead end. Uh, 
I know what I can do here though. Unlike on Lamb Chop's video, uh, after he tuned his 2016 701, uh, where he's just wheeling everywhere and stuff, I'm not going to do that. Mainly because I can't wheelie. If you haven't seen my wheelie fail training practice video, yeah, give that a watch, it's good shits and giggles. Although, well, really it's not, because I can't wheelie. Uh, yeah, kind of getting like that, that high and yeah, it just feels massive. That's what she said. So yeah, this uh, definitely has a lot more poke. I mean, just coming up the corner. Oh man, that was a big bug right in the middle of my visor. Splat. So yeah, the um, intake's a lot louder. I can definitely hear that. Uh, it's just, it's like a sharp grunt. Uh, it was it was noisy with the mm, original, well not the originals, the Evo airbox lid. Um, you know, there's a good intake noise, but that's just unadulterated death. Fuck me, it's windy as dick. And the, uh, the guy at Powertech, uh, I think it's Simon, I think was his name. Uh, he's a spot on guy. Uh, just um, kind of left me to it to fit the the exhaust and uh, intake myself. Uh, let me use all of his tools with this nice big shiny toolbox. Uh, so yeah, top bloke. Um, he does uh, he does a lot of uh, Dakar bikes. Um, what's the guy's name? Uh, Lyndon Poskett. Uh, I think he was um, like world champion Super Bowl or British champion, something like that. Uh, the guy said he does uh, a lot of Dakar stuff now. So Lyndon has had his um, KTM 690 and his 450 rally in and stuff. Uh, so yeah, he showed me all, all of their dyno tunes. He does a hell of a lot of Nortons. Uh, he said he's the Norton King, and he, he showed me the, the, like, the list of Nortons that he's tuned, there must have been about 40 bikes on there. So if you've liked my little tuning video, please hit like and subscribe, and the bell icon, or whatever you've got to do to get notifications and stuff, cup your balls while balancing on your tailbone, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll get some more videos up soon. Uh, so yeah, cheers for watching.